Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming with more Plague Inc. Evolved custom scenarios. Got another scenario that's been making its way up the popular tab lately, which seems very interesting to me. It is called the Distorted Reality Virus, which unfortunately because I've already clicked it means it's going to be stuck in the loading cycle for forever, so I have to go find it again. There it is. By Stuff, or Stoof, however you prefer to say it. Hello, how you doing? I'm doing okay, thank you. I'm, I'm, I've been, I'm trying to not go insane, staying at home, so... Let's have fun with this. So, what's the description for the scenario? This is all disclaimer stuff. Here we go. 30th of June, 2020. A mysterious new virus is located on a rock that fell from the sky. A meteor? Alien virus? Maybe. The rock is considered as having important information about the origins of our planet due to its composition. How did it fall from the sky? I don't know. The site is immediately quarantined and the rock secured. As the first analysis of the virus arrives, scientists conclude that the virus is very similar to a normal virus and discard potential danger. With this information, the confidential operation is quickly filed. However, the scientists were not able to analyze the full extent of this virus capabilities. A breach happened on the laboratory shortly after. Nobody knows what happened. The virus escaped, taken as a normal virus. No information came out to the public and all data was erased and filed. So a cover-up! Don't ever do that, people! I got specific people in mind. I'm not going to talk about it just because all data was erased and filed, but no one can be held accountable. It's just beginning. In case you get lost with the endings, uh, there's a link okay, for a guide. Okay, we're not going to worry about that right now, though. So it's a virus type. ATP boost, Darwinist, Oxytrax, Human File, and Symptostasis all seem perfectly not fine. Can only be played on normal or brutal difficulty. You know, for some funsies, let's go ahead and swap over to Brutal Difficulty. Why not? I'm assuming it has been play-tested to see if it will actually work, so we'll go for it. Welcome to Plague Inc., your new virus. Where do we want to start? Well, um... Where do we want to start? Let's start in... West Africa. I don't usually get to start in West Africa, but let's just try for it. Let's see exactly what happens with it. So, for transmissions, what do we have? Whoa! Lots of customization right off the bat. We have livestock for a lot of rural transmission. Good lord, it goes really fast. That's a lot of infectivity for only 60 and 8 points. More land transmission there. Plants for human and rural. Rodents for land and poor. Pets for wealthy and urban. Bird for land and air. Fish for sea transmission. Insects for hot and arid. And bugs for just a general increase in infectivity. All of these being 60 and 8 points. That is a lot. For the early game. So this might end up being a very quick scenario. I'm not too sure. West Africa is considered to be hot, rural, and poor. So we could go for the insects. And that wouldn't be too bad. Though we aren't arid. Um, maybe we go for rodents. For the poor and land transmission. Sure. Let's pick that up to start. Why is this still black? But the other ones have been discolored. That's weird, I don't know. Symptoms, we have confusion. The virus causes shifts in dopamine production, causing confusion in the infected, increases severity, and reduces the research speed. So we might get stuck on a very linear path. I have no idea with only one symptom where this is going to branch off, but we'll see. For abilities, we have our standard cold heat and drug resistance. Also, reality finish slash death. The virus prioritizes killing the infected above all else, unlocks lethal symptoms, and reality warp slash disorder. The virus prioritizes warping the infected's mind above all else, unlocks shifted world symptoms. So it sounds to me like there are actually going to be two main branches, and we get to decide which ending we want to go for. Well, we always go for a lethal path. I think it could be fun, kind of fun to go for a distorted reality. I mean, this is the distorted reality virus, right? I'm curious to see how reality distorts. So far, it's not happening, but we'll see. Um, rural could be good for us right now. Uh, land, um... Human and rural. Let's go for just a straight up rural in livestock transmission. Trying to get out of West Africa as quickly as we can. More for transmission and stuff would probably be pretty good for me. Wealthy and urban, probably not. Land and air. Uh, let's go for the plants for even more rural transmission. Again, just trying to spread as fast as we can out of here. We will need a lot more, of course. Probably uh, some wealthy transmission through pets and stuff as we start getting into Europe. And I didn't see anything that's good for the cold. Did I? Seed transmission will be valuable to me. Land and air. No, nothing for the cold. So that's probably fine. We did get into Algeria, not Morocco. Morocco always is a bit of a holdout nation. I don't know if you've noticed this. It does this all the time. Let's go for the confusion. This gives me some severity. It leads to delirium. Reduction in cognitive function causes irrationality and paranoia. Infectees experience bigger surges of confusion. Increases severity and reduces the research speed. That leads to hallucinations. The virus causes infectees to experience stimulus of unreal objects and sensations, increases severity, and slightly increases lethality. 
teeny bit of lethality will not hurt me. That leads to psychosis, which is getting pretty severe. Infectees start to experience mild distortions of reality and difficulty understanding what is real and what is not. Very severe, slightly lethal. Not going to worry about any of that right now. That should be more than enough. Uh, severity for the early game as we go into new countries we will be getting quite a bit more uh, red bubbles we did just get psychosis whether I like it or not so that would lead to schizophrenia which reduces future research speed and also is worth a load more severity maybe it was a mistake of judgment to go quiet as ham on the symptoms as we did we should focus on some more transmission let's go for the birds for the land and the air transmission now the problem starting off course in West Africa is there aren't really any nearby airports and stuff so that's only gonna be able to do so much for me some sea transmission will get me at least out of the country a little bit but not by an absolute ton hopefully we get on a boat on our own and don't need any help um, we want to go for the fish I think probably just just to help it a little bit but yeah we don't seem to be going very far okay we're stuck I never started in West Africa before so I, I can't imagine it's a very good starting country but here we are. Now we're getting into Brazil. That's good. West Africa starts working on a cure. Can't imagine that's going to hurt me too much. Hot and arid with the insects. Sure. Just trying to build up as many different transmission vectors as possible to kind of increase our spread. Find a weak chink in the uh, the world's armor, so to speak, so we can spread around a little bit faster. Uh, we do have bats. That's not too bad. Could double down on things like fish, which actually is noticeable and increases severity, so I don't want to do that too much. Bats for more land transmission is not too bad. We'll go for that. It's not going to result... Oh, we got schizophrenia. Okay, we need to get rid of that, actually. We're, we're getting a little too severe. A little bit too big for my britches. I don't want to go quite that far. Um, yeah, we don't want to get any extra transmissions level 2 right now just because that severity... Well, I mean, in some cases, the severity will be worth it. We do need to get pets. That's definite. And now we're just now starting to get into Europe. So getting pets makes a lot of sense. Let's go ahead and grab that. And what else do we want to do? Do we want to go for drug resistance? I think the answer is yes. Again, just need to spread a little bit faster in places like Europe. We did get into the United States. Our land transmission should be really high, so bordering countries should be getting hit pretty quickly. Uh, let's go for some cold resistance to kind of speed up our movement in the UK. And then I think I want to save up for fish too, so we have even more sea transmission. Yes, we get some severity, but it's not too bad, all things concerned. Um, I think we probably should go for some more cold resistance in a little bit, but we haven't even gotten... No, we did get into Russia. Never mind. Russia's already here. That means we want more cold resistance. Done. Okay. So we've got all of this. Um, at this point, we need to start working on some new symptoms or else we're going to run out of gas pretty quickly. So I think we're going to go for the reality warp and disorder option and let's see what happens. Okay, what do we got? Dream. Infectees experience a twisted world in which everything is perfect. Increases infectivity, severity, and mutation chance. Okay. Deity. Infectees experience a twisted world in which they hear voices and see paranormal things. And will try to spread it. You can make a religion out of this stuff. Infective and slightly severe. Anger. Infectees experience a negative twisted reality, one where the world is always unfair and whose sole purpose is to make their life miserable. Wait, that's a twisted reality? Are you sure that's not the real world? <laughs> I can't tell these days. And we have negative thoughts. The infectee experiences a negative twisted reality where he feels unwelcome and unwanted. Again, this is not the real world? Um, okay, so what do we want? We could go for mutation chance. Hinders cure research? No. Increased severity? No. Infective and slightly severe with deity seems pretty good. This leads to religion and cult. Believing in their visions, infectees will form cults and start religions, which may cause riots. Infective, severe, and slightly lethal will attract attention. More severity. But of course I have to found the cults! I mean, I don't know if you've noticed. I'm somewhat, I'm somewhat cultic founded. <laughs> I've got to focus on anything involving a cult, no matter how silly that cult might be. So let's go for that. A lot of severity, a little risky, but we'll go for it. Then there's God. Infectees will submit to their newly found gods and deities, infective and severe. Um, yes, is okay. May want to go for something else, though. What do we want? Let's go for birds, too, for more air transmission to get us into places like New Zealand. A strange new phenomenon. A recent wave of religions and cults have reportedly been shown all over using new types of ceremonies, beliefs, and practices. This is puzzling anthropologists and so sociologists who ponder about what might be the cause of such a sudden craze. Yes, an uptick in religion. No one saw it coming. Yes? <laughs> okay, so we got into a few more islands. What else we got? Missing the Caribbean, missing New Zealand, missing the Philippines, missing Greenland. So four main islands to go. Uh, do, 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 do. do we want to go for more plants? This does not say that it gives me additional rural transmission. Just lots of infectivity. And pretty expensive infectivity at that, I'll mention. Um, 
Let's go for some more drug resistance and also a genetic hardening to kind of slow things down and buy some time, because I can see this getting out of control pretty quickly. People got angry all of a sudden. Okay, that's a thing. Um... Hinder cure research. We're not. I'm not sure we're there yet. Let's go for the dream. This leads to utopia. Uh, more infectivity. I mean, it's coming at the cost of so much extra severity. I think that islands are going to start shutting down on me pretty quick. But everything we do is going to result in some extra infectivity one way or another. Let's go for insects for the extra hot um, transmission and see if that makes a difference getting me to places like the Philippines. We did just get that. Okay, we got into Greenland. I think this only leaves the Caribbean. You no, know, we actually got in there. I missed it. Oh, there he did. Okay, we literally just got into it. Perfect. Now we can go ham. All right, let's go for God. Uh, and then Utopia for mutation chance. Also Paradise. Massive, very disruptions of society. Sounds perfect. We'll go for some aggression for some lethality. That leads to extreme violence. Infectees start to mindlessly attack people and provoke promote revolutions causing massive chaos very lethal and severe helps to cure uh prevent the cure okay and uncured greatly hinders the cure research speed schizophrenia will reduce future research speed there okay these are all pretty decent options um anything that would increase my mutation chance seems the most valuable but okay we're gonna go for negative thoughts to slow down the cure and do i want self-hatred i don't think so I think we just sort of sit back for a second. Promise of a paradise. Nice artwork. Reports of individuals studying architecture, engineering, ethics, and artificial intelligence have recently shot up massively. While doctors want wonder about this behavior, governments and institutions debate issues that can arise from such ideals. What, you got a problem with technocracy? Peace was never a good option. It was an option, just not a good option. Police have their hands full as multiple reports of vandalism, aggression, and violence have sprung up. These individuals speak of new and better worlds. Sensing danger, governments and politicians seek ways to cool this situation off. The uh, yeah, the cure's going a little fast. I'm highly concerned about that. We need to go for uncured to hinder the research a little bit more. Uh, it did set it back a little bit, but not quite getting enough DNA or enough lethality. We did mutate self-hatred. Okay. That leads to depression. Isolates, uh, isolation hinders the cure. Okay, we'll pick that up. That leads to suicide. Very lethal. I'm also going to pick up the schizophrenia to slow down the cure even further. And coma could mutate for us, which also slows down the cure even further. Sad times. More and more people are suddenly showing signs of depression, sadness, and despair. With no strange craze going around, doctors point, it, uh, point to the need of reaching out and helping while suspecting that something else may be causing these symptoms. Yeah, the world's going haywire a little bit. Hey, look, a symptom combo. Psychotic anger, aggression, and depression causes infected to violently lash out towards society, attempting to unleash their rage. Infectivity, severity, lethality increase slightly. Cure research hindered slightly. Not a lot of progress for us, but every little bit helps. Fighting and, uh, uh, sorry, fighting the absurd. Struggling with depression and negative thoughts are finding new hope and purpose in new religion and cults. Okay, so land transmission. I mean, at this point, almost the entire world has been infected. Now it's just a matter of actually getting enough lethality. I don't know what's happening. Not long ago, everything was normal, but now it feels like everyone completely lost their minds. Is this a disease? What is causing this? Everyone's freaking out, wondering if they are infected. Yep, well, no one is healthy left on the planet, so if you're wondering, then the answer is, uh, yes, you are. Let's go for coma. The last option here is reality system slash creation. Required for the final ending, the virus starts warping reality itself, leading to various glitches and autonomous changes. Will cause massive social alarm. Well, we're already maxed up in our severity, so I'm not too worried about it. It is getting weirder. I also fear for my own safety. The things this virus is doing to people are beyond imagination. And the problem? It's only this that we know. We haven't understood the full extent of this virus's capabilities. I fear this has just begun. The good news is we set back the cure quite a bit. I'm watching the end. How can these people not see that they are trapped in an illusion? How is it possible that everyone is thinking they are in another world? Is everything we know really a lie? I need to know the answers. I mean, you're basically now Neo from the Matrix, and you need to, you, you've you been freaking red-pilled, dude. You've been freaking red-pilled. Everything hurts. My head is hurting more and more. I need to rest urgently. Why does it feel like everything is being warped? It's like I'm entering into an alternate dimension. Ah, uh, being delusional. All I need is a good night's sleep. Nah, that's not going to do it for you. Uh, so that's all the symptoms. So where's my endings? Ah, hello. Reality awake slash save. To stop reality from breaking, I will break reality. Come awake. See it all through my lens. 
required for the true final ending, and also reality control maintenance. I don't need anyone. I will stop these reality breaks myself, required for one of the final endings. So not the ending, but a ending. So what do we want to go for? We got some options, apparently. A glitch in reality? Crowds of shocked people looked in awe as buildings and objects appeared distorted as if they were being torn away from reality. Or apart from reality, sorry. Security forces appeal to stay staying calm. Concerns increase dramatically. Supposedly a severity increase, but really who cares? Please help me. Help us. Who is there? This looks like a simulation. Why does it feel like someone is looking at me? Us. Making these decisions. Are you there? Is anyone listening? I don't know. I can't see anyone. I can't hear anyone, but I still feel someone's there. Oh, this is going meta, isn't it? Me, the player. I'm the person. I'm the person who's doing all these things, yeah? You. You there. You who seems to be letting this happen. Why? I beg of you. End this suffering. Do not let this entire reality go to waste. If you want to end this all, go for it. But I beg you to stop this, or at least let me see things through. See what through? What do you think you're going to do exactly? Do I just do I just continue? You know, is this one of the potential endings? Don't pick either of these. Literally just let them die slowly? I wonder if that's an ending. It might be. Glitch. A glitch was reported in Philippines. Disturbing people, causing confusion, social distress, and panic. Government states that it was just a freak occurrence and guarantees it won't happen again. People blame a mysterious entity that watches all things. I.e. the player. I.e. God. Yep, that, that, that is me. Yes, that is me. I am the good. Um, do I want to save them? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I care about that. Control maintenance. I don't know. Do we just let everyone die for funsies and see what happens? There's another glitch in Brazil. I think we just go ahead and pick an ending, and I'm going to go for the maintenance ending. Let's see what happens. All right, what's the ending? What happens? Let's get to work. All right. It seems I now have to fix this mess, otherwise people will freak out and think something is wrong. I cannot let them figure things out. Sacrifice DNA to fix reality. In order to do this, you need 100 DNA. Really? Okay. Let's get this work done. In the meantime, I just need to watch out about killing too many people and maybe watching out for infectees. If too many glitches happen, people will seriously suspect their lives are a simulation or something. Should I have saved the game earlier? So are we just going to get some DNA every single day? Because if so, I can make this work. A glitch was reported in Iran. Yeah, we're still scaring people. I'm not sure if we're going to get enough DNA to make this work. And I'm not sure we can uh, actually do this before everyone's dead. I mean, maybe, but I'm going to go with no. All right, so that's how one ending works. I mean... Is there really an ending? I was expecting there to be like a little button here. Press, you know, spend 100 DNA, and all of a sudden you get the ending, right? But that's not a thing. So does it literally just end once you get to 100 DNA? I have no idea. But we're not generating anymore, so I guess we're going to go for the true ending. We're going to save people. Let's see what happens. Hello there. Can you reach? What? Who am I talking to? I can hear something, but I can't see you. Are you this big white light? What do I appear as to you? A number. Just a single number in some code. Do you see me as an object, as a person? Do you mind if I take a peek at what you see? I don't think you're going to like what you see. This world is also infected by a pandemic. What do you mean this is a game? Why am I inside something called Plague Inc. Evolved? Is this your doing? I'm not alive. So you were telling me I'm just a simulation, that I'm not even real? I don't think I can handle this anymore. So, mass depression? Maybe? Listen, I was able to let... I was able to let you be aware, and it was not for you to just give up. Doing this was the only way to repair this broken reality and fix your world. Just because this is a game doesn't mean I don't care. It will help you fix this reality. Oh, no, I don't care. I, I'm, o I'm okay, absolutely, in just letting all of you die. I, I really don't. A random transmission mutated. What was it? No, it didn't. No, uh, d did it? Birds? Did I just get birds for free? It worked. Is this your true power? You're building up this virus on your own behalf and desire. I will not blame you for having fun, but why like this? You can totally blame me for having fun. I'm sorry. If any deity or alien life form came through and turned out they were screwing with humanity and just like letting everyone die for our own amusement, you'd be pretty peeved. I know I would, but fine. We have a world to fix. I will check the game code for fixes, but I'm afraid I need some time. Oh, I don't know about that. I think the world may die. Let's fix this. I can't handle it. I have no idea how to program to fix this reality, and I can't learn the code fast enough. If you're responsible, you must know something. Please, I need to know the answers. Let me help you. Sacrifice DNA to fix reality. We need 80 DNA. I am pretty confident we're going to get the world killed long before this is an option. Oh, good. More glitches. Yep. Sorry, bud. I mean, I don't really feel too bad. I'm just going to sit back here for a little bit, and I'm just going to sip on my grapefruit seltzer, and I'm just going to watch the world burn. You think that I care, but really, even further, I'm just toying with your emotions. I am making you think that I care so that it hurts just that much more when you find out I really don't. If you want to see what I see... <laughs> You'll see a, a sweaty, almost 30-year-old man just sitting in his quarantined apartment 
and destroying the world because it makes me feel better about my own existence where we're all probably going to die. <laughs> not really. I'm not worried about the real world. I'm just saying. But, but the point is, look, it's no picnic here either, dude. It's better for me to take out my anger on you guys. That's all I gotta say. All right, well, at this point, I mean, the world's dead. We're just getting glitches freaking everywhere. And I don't even know what the point of these are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump forward a little bit. There we go, almost like three minutes later. Distorted virus has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Ah, no special endings? Ah, oh, that's just a little disappointing. Uh, I suspect that if I had gotten the extra DNA uh, from Blue Bubbles, we might very well have made this one work and gotten one of the special endings. Um, but I'm not going to try it right now. If anyone is interested in trying this out for yourself, I recommend you look for the distorted virus and then uh, leave a comment down below and tell me what one of the special endings is, because I'm kind of curious. It's a very interesting idea, right? Having lots of different endings you have to earn your way to, like be more efficient with your playstyle, save as many DNA points as you can, and all of a sudden you get a totally different ending. Very unique concept, not something that I have seen done before, so I definitely appreciate that. 886 days, 55% cure progress, 25,902 points, and one star, mostly because it took so stinking long. So the pacing of this is a little bit odd. It seems really fast at first, and but it ends up slowing down an absolute ton, with the intention of giving you time to get DNA, so you can go for one of the special endings, which is, again, why I say, if we got the DNA from Blue Bubbles, I think we would have had time, just because the scenario drags out. The the more the scenario drags out and they're slowly working on the cure, the more DNA you'll walk away with so you have more gas to do a lot of things. So that, I think, is the way to actually try out this scenario and get a whole lot of different endings. At least the kind of meta, like, inception route was kind of interesting. Again, something I don't think I've seen before now that I think about it. I'm not sure why. I feel like it should be uh, something that's made its way into a lot of different scenarios, but this is the first time that I've ever seen try it, so I appreciate that. It's good. It's a good scenario, and I recommend that people give it a shot. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell. Do it. I know you haven't. Do it. Just do it. And I will see you guys next time.